Welcome back everybody. Today is a how-to video on how to install this electronic deadbolt from Troust. I got mine off of Amazon. Shocker. I'll put a link in the bottom the description. Uh, I got it for about 150 bucks. Uh, it was a fairly easy install. It's a good looking uh, item. Um, I liked it because it doesn't need Wi-Fi to operate. You can do 10 different user codes, one-time codes. It's waterproof. It's real easy to use and it looked really, really good. And it was really easy to install, so oh, here you go. Handle. I've got pre-cut holes from the manufacturer, but I don't have this hole down here to mount this. But of course, on the template, way down there, three eighths inch hole. So I've got to mount this up, mark my hole, and then drill that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna take probably 30 minutes to make sure I get the hole in the right spot. Probably still drill it wrong, but luckily it's got a pretty big kind of hide or cover that I can, uh, as long as I'm not too far off, I can cover it up. Marked up here, ready to go. You got to be careful because there's two sets of layouts one for two and, eight, two and one eighth inch back, and two and three eighths inch. Here we're two at three eighths inch. So we've also got two pilot hole marks. Make sure you mark the right pilot hole. I'm going to use a brass punch just because. You can use a hammer and a punch. Be really careful if it did do have glass here. But I think we're good to go. Marks on the other side. Get a three eighths inch drill bit and we'll drill it out. Now install the latch. Uh, your door, if you're replacing one, uh, this is a new door, so the only thing that was drilled are the holes. If you're making your own door, well that's a whole other can of worms. If you're just replacing one, you should have the holes already. Mine doesn't, so I have to make those. Just take the wood screws that they give you and put them in. No big deal. It tells you to put them in there, but not to tighten them all the way down so the lock's fully assembled. So I'll just get the wood part started. What I mean by the wood part started, I don't know if you can see this, but you have the wood screw, it's like a hybrid screw, the wood boring bit, and then you have the kind of the finished side. So I just drilled it all the way in. So I've got the bite side basically in there. <clears throat> For the deadbolt, it's pretty much the same thing, except you don't have a slant side or anything, but they conveniently mark it for you. It's just up. Change that side to up. Wood in. You want to be kind of cognizant that when this got put together, factory, wherever that was, you kind of see behind that gasket, it's got a raised edge. Mine was actually put in between that, my cord. So I want that down under that, in that little gap. I don't know if you can see this little gap here. But basically, I don't want anything pinched off that it may go together today, but then in a week from now, it doesn't work or could just snap it in half completely sever it so just be wary of that but anyway we're going to take our plate off of our back side that holds our batteries we're going to take this plate off and again be a little wary of your electrical connection so it sits in here like this which means it's going to face the door on the other side like that take our lock cylinder This flat bar has got to go through that little flat piece right there. Two longer screws that come with the kit go through there.
All right, so got the back plate on. Took a little to me. One of the tips too to installing this when you do these deadbolt, you want it to go a little bit more smooth. One is take your time, but two, make sure since your deadbolt is in, which means it's unlocked, make sure your handle is in the unlocked position because this will go on with the handle in the locked position, but then nothing will happen. So make sure it's all the way here if that's all the way down. All right. Do our handle. You'll notice this part is squared. This fits through that square in there and then to that square over here. This is where you can really screw up a handle, a nice handle, is on the back side when you're trying to put these screws in. What you'll notice is if you really get up against your knob, be wary of that. They make one of these that has uh, plastic here, rubber here. If you're really that concerned about it, instead of buying a whole new tool, Wrap it in painter's tape. Pretty good to me. There we go. Pretty tight fit. Not bad. Not bad for China. So after my long-winded install, this is what it looks like. Sleek design, really good, uh, really solid. Everything feels like a well-oiled machine on the inside. It's uh, very easy. I like the key to entry. Keypad is fairly easy to use. I like the battery backup. Didn't scrape up the knob because I used the painter's tape. Um, it fit in there nicely. It fit pretty snug against the middle of my door, but it came out looking clean. I like it. Catch you all next time. Thanks for watching.